one's been asking me to give them information on what it's like to actually drive when there is no sun. Well, there's clearly no sun. We're currently at 84%, as you can see here. We're doing about 6.6 .6 knots, and we're doing it about 1,000 RPM, and we're cruising along nicely. Uh, for about three hours cruising, we used about 15% battery uh, capacity. Um, we're about another hour away from our destination, so we're going to still have way over 50% available. And that's cruising along with no sunshine whatsoever. Um, we had a beautiful day yesterday, so we were fully charged. We uh, were close to 90% before we left this morning, um, which is fantastic. And, you know, you just keep on cruising along and enjoy the journey. But it just goes to show you that you can drive a solar electric yacht when it is actually um, overcast or not sunny. And if it's raining, we just simply go down to the lower helm and we drive down there. When it's pouring with rain, it doesn't affect us whatsoever. The same applies. So that's the beauty of having a twin helm station on a vessel of this particular size. As you can see, we're cruising along quite nicely. Beautiful day. You can sort of see how fast we're going. Just standard for approximately six knots. And it's very comfortable speed on a beautiful day like today. And to be using such little battery capacity, um, the solar cells are still getting power even though it's uh, light, it's very dark, we're still generating um, power as well. As you can see it's really nice and silent. All you can hear is the trickling water <laughs> and my voice of course. As you can see, we're basically creating zero wake. So any other boats coming the other way, the waves and the wake that we're creating due to our design is just cutting through the water beautifully. Currently sitting on about eight knots, cruising along nicely. As you can see, we're creating nearly zero weight, and we're moving quite quick right now. About 10 knots. So the reason I'm doing this video is because everybody's asking me, so what about when it's raining or it's storming and um, there's no sunshine? Well. I'm currently enjoying a journey, a very long journey at the moment, with thunderstorms, rain and lightning and no problems, still not fueling up, not even using a backup generator. Got to ask yourself why we ever would pay for fuel, right? Looks like he's uh, not going far, sunk. We're currently cruising along in the thunderstorms at about uh, 8.3 knots. Beautiful day. Well, it's very exciting. Just about to uh, arrive on the Gold Coast in about half an hour. And there is a beautiful, amazing storm ahead. You can't even see the city. It's pouring down. Okay, so we're down in the lower helm now and we are cruising along nicely we're at 6.6 .6 knots we've still got plenty of battery capacity and we are currently it is storming outside we can barely see anything in front of us but it's just so beautiful inside and it's an absolute pleasure but it is pouring out there and it's beautiful in here this is solar power travel how beautiful is this? Woohoo! What an amazing storm! Coming into the Gold Coast, it's absolutely rocketing! 
Sun power yachts, no sun necessary. The Sun Power 44 looks like it's exceeding all expectations. Woohoo! Well, I gotta tell you, that's the most exciting ride I've ever done. That was the biggest storm. It was so wild. We ended up going through the eye of the storm. It was like virtually a mini cyclone. I actually spun the boat in 360 degrees. Thank God for the satellite nav. We couldn't see where we were going at all. Went into this amazing thunderstorm. We just made it to the Gold Coast, come out the other end. And yeah, welcome to the Gold Coast, everybody. And uh, looks like the Sun Power 44 has exceeded our expectations. See you on the next one.